Hey everyone! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Day 2 Cello Nation Live Galamian Scale Music. I'm excited to do this with you guys. I'm cold. My cello is freezing and I'm just really cold. Hold on. Let me fix this. Okay, so now I have this electric blanket that I'm sitting on. I think that'll warm me up. Okay, so we talked yesterday about Galamian scale method, right? And you guys need to research it and figure out what it is. If you don't know, you're gonna be adding a tag on. In C major, it was. That's the tag that we add on the beginning and on the end of our scale. So I have tons of Galamian scale method videos out. And so you can check those out. Um, you got to do that research on your own because these classes are for playing them, okay? So we are going to do two octave, D major, not D major, G major, as in girl, because we're going around the circle of the fifth. So C major was yesterday, G is one sharp, that's today, D is tomorrow, right? Thursday is... A, Friday's E, okay? We're adding a sharp each day. We're going around the circle of fifths. It's gonna be super fun. Today we have G major, okay? Hi, Claudia. We're gonna do a two octave G major scale and then three octaves, okay? So let's just play. I don't wanna talk anymore. I'm talking all the time, too much. It's too much, you guys, it's too much. And I wanna warm up, I'm freezing. Ooh, ooh. All right, we're going to add galaming tag. We're going to do, let's start with two octaves for those who only have two octaves. Quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes. Okay, you ready? Everybody, when you're playing the quarter notes, identify a few elements that you want to practice with your bow arm, right? Because there's not that much to think about with just the long notes, right? So think about your sound. Is your bow straight, right? Is it skipping up and down? Are you squishing the stick? Those kinds of things on your quarter notes, right? As it gets faster and the left hand is harder, you have to think more about the left hand, right? All right, enough. Ready? Quarter notes like this, slow quarter notes for galami because we're getting faster and faster and faster. You ready? All right, here we go. Two octaves. Ready? Go. scales they don't end up equal at the end but you're learning the galamian tags 
when you're just playing two octaves so that you can do them on three octaves. On three octaves, there's 48 notes, and, and the Galamian tags, the added notes, make those 48 notes come out equal so that you're always on a down bow on the new rhythm, okay? So all of the rhythms are divisible by 48. And so that's why he added the tags to make it 48, so that eighth notes, triplets, 16th notes, sextuplets, and then the 32nd notes all go evenly and you come to a down bow at the end. That's the goal of it. And I have learned that it's very complex. Hans Jorgen Jensen, hi Kim, 106 p.m. here for a moment. Nice to see you, Kim. Tell us where you're coming in from. Hans Jorgen Jensen, my teacher who teaches at Northwestern now, he, he has written a 70 page treatise on Galamian scale method. For me, I just used the one page that I gave you guys that you guys can print out. And that's, there, it's on my stands all over my house. There's four stands, they all have Galamian scale method on it. And it will not fail you. You can use it forever, just that one page. Because it's even better if we don't write stuff out and we figure it out in our brain because then we're actually internalizing what all the rhythms are um, ourselves instead of just reading because you never really learn it that well when you read stuff. Claudia says, tags and rhythms. You've, you've dad the most amazing <laughs> teachers. Oh, I've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you go out and get them, right, Claudia? You go out and find those amazing teachers. Tomorrow I have a lesson with Nathaniel Rosen. I'm excited, but I think, like, I did something to my bow so it's not catching very well. Anyway, that's off topic. All right, what was I talking about? I was talking about Galamian. Yeah, the one-page Galamian method sheet. Let me just put it here in case some of you have not seen it yet. Here it is. This was handwritten. I used it for like 25 years, handwritten. And then Tan, it has all kinds of rhythm combinations too. This is when you get deeper into it, you can combine your rhythms. But this is the first part. This is for three octave scales. Tan in Singapore printed it out for me. It was very sweet of him. I will always say thank you, Tan. He was in one of my free master classes. Okay, so now Heidi says greetings from Green Bay. Hi, Heidi. Nice to see you. We just did two octave G. Now we're going to do three octave G, okay? Three octaves. We got to get up there, right? But the rhythms will come out right when we add the tags, okay? You guys ready? Here we go. Slow quarter note. Long, slow quarter note. Galamian says quarter note equals 42. It's probably slower than this a little bit, but that's so that you can do more of the faster, faster, faster rhythms, right? Set you up for success when you have a slower quarter note, right? All right, you guys ready? Three octaves, we're slurring. Two for eighth notes, three for triplets, etc. Ready? Here we go, let's do it. Ready, go.
to get better and better and that's that's what I've got and I work on it and that's what I want all you guys to do be happy with where you are and just step a little bit forward each day right so in order to get faster on this you can do rhythms it's gonna sound like this two notes at once so putting two notes together as fast as possible. Then you do that with notes two and three of your scale. So your first note is dotted. Now two notes with galamian tag, right? That's notes two and three are together really fast, right? When you do that all the way up and down on your scale, both of those rhythms, the dotted eighth with the sixteenth, and the 16th with the dotted eighth, right? Then your fingers get fast and even and suddenly. It's just very even after that, okay? All right, so that was that. We're going to do the arpeggios now. You ready? We're going to do G major arpeggio two octaves, okay? And you're going to have to figure out your own fingering. Ready? Go. cycle major minor diminished Claudia you so need this for improv you guys it's really gonna help you with your box suites the diminished Meg has to push push pause and learn some fingerings good Meg make sure you learn them don't just read them learn them think like what is a good fingering figure it out yourself you have enough technique to figure it out right where am I? What do you mean, where am I? I'm in the Bay Area. Is that what you mean? Um, it's time for me to press pause and learn some things. Yeah, Meg, Meg says that. Okay, so listen. So now we're going to do um, the arpeggio cycle, major, minor, diminished. Faster, okay? So we did like this. Now let's double it, okay? We'll go twice as fast. We're going to push ourselves. Ready? Go. G, 
okay now you can push yourself meet yourself where you are push yourself a little bit faster each time you do it and then fall off and laugh and go back to where you're comfortable okay so that's G major now let's do C major because we're gonna we're doing add a scale this week so C major we already did let's do it we will do two octaves then three octaves you ready C major Galami and scale method okay I feel like I should move back a little but that's probably better you guys ready here we go quarter note equals 42 more like a little bit faster though C major quarter notes ready two octaves we're starting with ready go Ready, go. 
And then if you're doing, you know, you can get as fast as you can get. You go up by twos and then threes, twos and then threes. That's the way it gets incrementally faster, okay? We can do one more thing. The, uh, you want to do the three octave C one? You're going to... Start with first finger on E, right? Okay, ready? Go. very much you can tell <laughs> right but usually for improvisation I just use two octaves so I don't go up there like that that much so that was really fun okay write in the chat tell me how you guys did and it's been nice warming up with you guys today this study is one of my I have invented the three-point touch practice study in the last few weeks and it's really great so this is good one of the touches that i promise every day is galamian scale and we're doing i'm doing it every day with you guys this week so yeah it's part of my regular practice so that was really fun um yeah yay for the galamian scale party tomorrow we're going to do three keys c g and d you can see how it kind of challenges your brain when you do one i mean when you're just working on one that's one thing right but then when you add a second one you're like wait what key am I in, right? It's not as easy as it is just concentrating on that one key, right? So this is fun. This is an extra challenge for this week. I also want you to be able to memorize these things. They should be in your head. You should be able to not read them. You can read them at first if you want, but you got to memorize them and start doing that, right? This is good brain work so that we don't have to do the crossword puzzles. When you have a key, can you say it loud enough to hear? What does that mean, Kim? Please repeat the scale slowly. No, Deb, you got to play the scale. You figure the scale out. You've got enough technique and ability to be able to do that, right? You know what a scale is, and you know how to practice it. So play your scale slowly, and then you gradually speed up a little bit from where you are, not from where I am, right? I'm just where I am, you're where you are, it's all fine, right? But you're going to figure out the next rhythms that are a little bit faster, okay? Claudia says, wow, thank you. Trusting my ears and fingers and keeping up with you, more trust really works. Yeah, this is the fastest I've played. Yeah, you know, I couldn't play fast when I was younger and I realize it's because nobody really taught me to. You have to practice it, right? That's all. Technical issues with computer. Okay, Deb, so maybe you can listen later. So um, 
yeah it's harder when we have two keys tomorrow we're going to have three keys but i'm doing the new key first and then we'll go back to c and g okay um just goof around with it have fun with it and yeah galamian scale method is the bomb that's why it's a party okay so i'm going to give you a commercial here monterey cello congress is happening june 8th and 9th i want you there i want to have all cellists calling all cellists come on you guys come and join us in monterey it's going to be amazing i think that ryan is going to be doing a raffle um maybe claudia you might have had your name already if you did that you might have your name in the raffle to be able to come to monterey um but ryan's doing another raffle about something else where you get your name in the raffle to get a free ticket to the monterey cello congress right so check it out on the celloguru.com i would love to have everybody who's watching this later come to the monterey cello congress text me or email me if there's some problem that you're having and i can help you with it as far as getting you to monterey right i have some ways to do that so just make sure you connect with me let me know you're interested maybe we can figure it out right i want you guys there um heidi says the diminish is difficult but not terrible nice heidi why would it be terrible just you're working on it right uh oh kim yeah okay so kim every day we're adding a scale okay yeah i'll try to be more clear sorry if i wasn't clear c major was monday today was g major but it, you're right we did g major and c major today tomorrow we're doing d major which is three sharps then we'll just go backwards in the circle of fifths d major then g major then c major whoa my brain's gonna hurt by the end of that right okay guys write how you did on this and how you're feeling about it everybody watching later yay you know give yourself some compassion love yourself as a cellist um and just appreciate where you are so that you can make the next steps you feel good about yourself make the next steps slowly gradually towards becoming even a better cellist than you are okay i gotta go i have a class to teach i love you guys keep working um anybody interested in the total cello immersion program where we have a fertile environment that cellists can be in for a six month commitment please just message me or email me check out the celloguru.com to see about my programs okay i know how to reach a hand to you and pull you to your highest cello self that's why i am the life coach for cellists thank you bunches said heidi sure i'll see you guys tomorrow right where we're doing D major, two sharps. Bye, guys.